All right, Jason Rona here. We're down in the J Concepts pits for Brent Telke with Team Associated. Brent, uh, he just bumped it in both A mains here. Um, you've uh, kind of been all over in the, the grid uh, in the past here in the open class. You've TQ before. Uh, you know, what's it like to bump up in a 10 minute race there? You know, it's fun. Um, the track's a lot of fun to race on, just, just, just to even drive on, let alone race. So that was kind of our first opportunity to, to race another car on the track. Um, you know, all through qualifying, you're just trying to put in clean laps and, um, you know, take what's kind of given to you. But uh, there's a lot of places on the track where you can force people into mistakes. Um, and, you know, you kind of saw out there that there were times where um, you kind of get together, but it didn't really mess people up. You see that a lot in the invite race as well. Um, but I think going into the A mains, I think it kind of gives you some confidence to already be out there. Ran for the 10 minutes. Uh, you know, the track's going to be a little bit more deteriorated later in the race. Um, so I think that's good. And for me, you know, I have no place to go but up starting 10th. Um, I think my, both my cars are really, really good. So if the opportunity is there, I'm going to climb as high as I can. Switching over to the in, the Invitational here, uh, you know, we just ran uh, you know, the, the third round of two-wheel drive, or I'm sorry, four-wheel drive. And uh, talk to us about the uh, the finishing and, you know, how this thing is kind of shaping up with the with the people that are in contention. Yeah, you know, with everything that I have going on, I'm, I'm setting the grid. I'm helping blow off the track in between rounds. So I, I don't really know all the, the ins and outs of uh, how the points are laid out. I just see the sheet, and I see, uh, you know, the Dub C up there on top, and I like it. Um, so he's right where he wants to be. Uh, Cavalieri's up there. Um, I assume Mayfield's still up there, and Cody's still up there as well. Um, seems like Dustin's kind of had a couple uh, lower finishes here, so he's probably still in the hunt for a podium, but um, you know, maybe his hopes of actually winning are, are, are dwindling a little bit. But I mean, we've got three more rounds here to go today and uh, a couple breaks to the, the right guys, and anybody's still, not anybody, but you know, those main guys are still in it with Dakota Fend. He already came out of the, uh, round one with a break, so you know, every race he has now is going to count for his score. Uh, so that, that's a lot of pressure, and um, I'm looking forward to watching it. I mean, uh, basically what, um, you know, what I've been told is so far what we have is Dakota Fenn with a drop. He's got 11 points. Spencer and Mayfield have 12, and Cody newmandal has got 13. So, um, and you kind of, you know, you, this is the time when you start really looking at the order of the next heats, and you start going, all right, you're trying to figure it all out, and you're just like, it's so difficult to try to figure it out. And, well, this guy's got a front row, and this guy doesn't, but sometimes it just doesn't work out like that, does it? No, not at all. You can really psych yourself out here. You know, I was talking with Cody a little bit, and he's, you know, he says he looks at the heats one race ahead of time, and that's really it. He just wants to know where he starts. Doesn't really even care who he races, who races each other. He's just going to go do the best he can, which I think is a great attitude for this particular event, because you can, you know, you know, really get in your own head more than the other drivers are even doing it. You know, everybody's trying to do all the scenarios and this and that, and you think you have an easy heat or a good start, and all of a sudden you case a jump here and you're 10th, where maybe you're the benefactor of that the next time around. So I think you just go out and you run each race independent, do the best you can, try to limit your own mistakes. And, um, you yeah, know, I think that's the strategy that Cavalier has employed for a few years, and uh, you saw Mayfield do it last year, and uh, I think that's probably what you'll look back and say the winner did this year as well. I mean, since you kind of brought this race back, I uh, you know we had there was two at West Coast, and this is the third one here at OCRC. Is that correct? It's actually three at each of them. Okay, three at each. Uh, I mean, when you look at this, uh, I mean, you look at the, who the guys are in contention uh, every year, and it's like it's it's Cavalieri, it's Mayfield, it's Tebow. Uh, we enter kind of Spencer this year, but then you know it's been uh, Dakota and Dustin. I mean. These guys just, they just get it done every time, and it's just the smallest things that determine if they're going to win or not. I mean, is that pretty much what it looks like? Yeah, I mean, you're going to actually hear the word luck a little bit and, um, you know, call it what you want. You have to have uh, the right attitude, um, and I think you see those guys that are constantly winning those events. They've been in those situations before and know what it takes. Um, so for a, a new group of per people to break into that um, strategy and that mentality is, is difficult. But, you know, these, these kids do research. I'm sure uh, Spencer's watched every single race of every single Reedy race you could ever find, you know, saying, if I was in this scenario, this is what I would do. Um, you know, I'm not so sure what Dakota does on his prep. Um, I'm not really uh, privy to that. But, uh, yeah, it's really impressive. I think also what you get is you get the guys that um, – you know, there's so many races that are the same. The monotony's there, and 
yeah, you know, it's hard to get hype for a certain race, but with this race being so independent of everything else, uh, the atmosphere you get, um, the international flavor, the basically three mains per round, uh, I think the guys can kind of attack this race with a different mentality, and I think that helps, keeps it fresh. Okay, so for a final note, uh, do you have a, a prediction for each class two will open, four wheel open, and the invite? I won't make a prediction. All right. Well, that's Brent down here in the J Consos pit. We're ch chatting a little bit about the recap of that round. We still got three more rounds of four wheel drive to go. Anything can happen. The guys are basically separated by one point each, and uh, we'll see what happens. I think this first race uh, that's coming up is actually has Cavalry and Dakota in it. Uh, this could be um, a scenario where uh, this could put Dakota over the top, or this could give Cavalry the the opportunity to kind of get in and get that win that he's needed here so far to keep him in contention. So I, I think I'm looking forward to two of those guys racing. So uh, we'll stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching.